burn the know with Eon Temple. Just bringing y'all another video. This video is very personal to me. It's a lifestyle video. It's about my lifestyle with vegan plant-based foods. It's something that um, I do every day. It's something that is a part of me. It's like bread and butter, you know? A plant-based vegan food in this video. So it's basically something I've done for four to five months. It's had a lot of impacts on me, both physically, mentally, and spiritually. And I'll get into that in, in other videos. But in this video, I'm gonna be giving you a list of different foods that you guys can eat. Uh, different beautiful tasty foods that you can incorporate it's kale kale is something that i've eaten for a while now um before i never really used to like greens i used to have to be forced to eat greens even fruits like i don't know i used to be different as a kid but since i've grown up and seen the impacts it has on us health wise and the, how crucial these things are we have to be mindful of this and be able to to reach our full potential by eating these these solar powered foods that just really you know they this is what electrifies our soul this is what detoxes the mucus and the phlegm all of that nonsense so um yeah kale is a really good one it has a lot of protein it has a lot of antioxidants as well it's it's also rich in fiber. It helps to push out all of these toxins. And it's, it, yeah, it's pretty good. You could even tell by the, the color of it, it's rich and green. Has a lot of, um, has a lot of, uh, what's the word, chlorophyll, which absorbs sunlight. Anything really, not anything, but a, a lot of these green foods, they have a lot of energy next food is hemp seeds i love and i mean i love hemp seeds They're one of my favorites it just it just is rich it's real rich for the soul rich for the body it allows me to um get in tune with everything and really sync with what i want yeah so um Another thing, hemp seeds, I'm really looking to try hemp milk. I'll let you guys know how that is. But um, other than hemp seeds, you have portobello mushrooms. A lot of people struggle at trying to transition. That's a perfect thing to incorporate as it, it's um, rich in proteins and you know, it's, it has a lot of meaty taste to it, so. If you still love that meat taste, it's a perfect substitution for that. You also have zucchini, you have wildflower, garbanzo beans, uh, you have almonds, you know, some of your nuts, but I wouldn't eat a lot of other nuts there. They're more acidic. Um, yellow squash is good as well. Gala apples, any type of apples. I I really like Macintosh, but um yeah, those are good as well. Um, drinking coconut water, you know, I'm really an island boy at heart. I know I've been all over the world, but <coughs> as a as a youth, like when I was primary school, I was in Jamaica, and coconut water is just something you drink, right? And that's something I miss. I wish I even drank more of that when I used to, the last time I lived in Jamaica. So um, yeah, if you guys have access to that, that's definitely something you should drink. And it's something that really, it just electrifies the soul and helps to cleanse and detox. And um, water, of course, is a big one. A lot of people don't realize how important it is to drink water and that water is like, we're. We're over 75% water though. The planet is over, what, 75, 70% water. You see how things just overlap, things are, you know, connected. But yeah, um, 
it just shows you how crucial water is to us and that we really should be drinking at least a gallon a day. Like I'm I've been I lack I was lacking today. I should have been drinking at least two more glasses. But um yeah, it's, it's really good to to incorporate that into your diet to help you to reach certain levels of health and mental state. Also strawberries, blueberries, any type of berry. It's really good and they're low in sugar so you're not gonna have an acidic environment it allows your body to really you know have something that's sweet but it's not really damaging it's not high in fructose all of these different sugars or whatever it just has natural sugar sugars activates the dopamine doesn't make you have these escapism symptoms of others of the average sugar that that's put like corn syrup like all of that nonsense you don't need that um, Himalayan sea pink sea salt or just Himalayan salts I mean that's another good one just to have as a spice as a alternative really should be your main thing even if you're not vegan or on the plant-based diet you should be using these salts as it has on the 94 trace minerals that we're missing from our diets that we usually don't get it's really vital in our health and well-being a lot of people don't realize that how it impacts us on different scales and it's a beautiful thing um you have beet roots i love beets but you can also do beetroot juices you could do um, you can also do beet fries, uh, I've seen recipes on that, you can do, um, uh, other things with beets as well, you can blend them, they're just really good and they clean out the body, and they don't really leave too much waste, they're very in and out, if you know what I mean, <clears throat> and I'm not talking about the burger place. But um, yeah, they, they're very good in detoxing the body. They're purple. Purple is one of my favorite colors. And yeah, it's just a real well-rounded vegetable. Not to mention they're grown underground so they, they don't come into contact with a lot of pesticides like a lot of other vegetables do. Watercress, watercress watercress is a beautiful vegetable I need to get some more of that I've been meaning to get some but I've just been hearing the reviews and the, the different things about it and it's something that I definitely am looking forward to having also you have ginger it's really good to to um, help to detoxify the body you got ginger in, almost anything it helps to maintain body uh, mucus levels down just keep the body alkaline so you don't have gases or no pains I don't suffer from any of that, that crap anymore I mean I'm just living my best life I'm, I'm being 100 I'm just letting my hair grow it's growing back out my skin is healing I'll be doing a video about eczema and what I've been doing to my day-to-day -day lifestyle I'll be showing the kind of things that are prepared in this household the kind of things that I cook and yeah I'm, I'll be showing I'll be showing you guys my recipe with quinoa beets uh, you have your lettuce you have <coughs> you have uh, shit lettuce that's a lettuce already um, bok chow, some onion, some garlic, and yeah, and some tomatoes as well. Can't forget the tomatoes. That's also good for the, the lower chakra. Uh, yeah, so basically at first I sauteed it. And this is how you get some good quinoa in the This is going to be put in here as well. So. 
do some kale, we have some celery and uh, some bok choy in the middle. A little bit more of this too. And yeah, so the thing's set. Just adding some bok choy and uh, kale. And a little bit of lettuce. And then I. I just added some water, then some quinoa, let it just do its thing. When I saw it started to steam up and got that consistency I wanted. So I just put the rest of the things in here. And it smells so good. You just have to cover it up. I'd say give it about five minutes or so. Steam down. When the time comes, you, you can go no. <clears throat> I just was ready and I took, I just mixed it up and let it just simmer for a bit and then it was ready. And you can just have it and enjoy it. So we have had a Chili pepper. Uh, yeah, this is the season, just come on. So yeah, that's just that's just it and I hope you guys enjoy this video and enjoy the, the cookings and hopefully I could even see some recipes in the comments below. Ready know like share tell me what you guys took from this video and how you incorporate it into your life. And yeah, salute. Yeah, can't wait to eat some. Peace.